Hi, my name is Debbie Hoffman. I'm a librarian here at the Warren Newport Public Library. This, this book, The Train to Crystal City by Jan Russell, actually our nonfiction group um, discussed a couple of months ago. It's fascinating because I have to admit, I really didn't even know that we even had Japanese internment camps here in the United States until about 15 years ago. Um, and this one actually even tells an even deeper secret, which I think is even, in many ways, even worse. Um, this was they, FDR, with his permission, with his, the permission of the president, actually rounded up um, refugees, um, people either Japanese, German, um, a variety of people who didn't have, um, um, that were not citizens but were living in the, in the United States, and people that he thought, um, or his advisors thought, could be um, against the United States. This is a fascinating story. She did um, years of research, um, had many interviews with the people that lived in these um, in these in these internment camps. This was this Crystal City was um, in Texas. It was the only family internment camp. Um, of many of the children that lived there were actually American citizens. They were born here, um, but their parents were not. They were immigrants, and many of them, for a variety of reasons hadn't become American citizens. So they were told that the only way that they could be together as a family would be if they agreed to go to these internment camps with the understanding that eventually they would be used as bartering tools to get Americans out of Europe or Japan. Again, this is, it's just a, it's a incredibly sad story, very sad part of our history, um, a little known part of our history actually, and um, it is called The Train to Crystal City. I would highly recommend those of you who are into World War II history um, to pick this up.